I am sitting up here teaching y'all how to be grown and nasty. Trying to get drunk and nasty. <laughs> Trying to get drunk and nasty. What's up, Barbianas? Welcome back to the party, Anna. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching y'all how to sneak out with strict parents. See, I'm whispering because that's how strict my parents are so that's that already lets you know what it is and what it ain't so let's get straight into it see if you got like real strict parents this is for the motherfuckers who got cameras everywhere through the house i'm talking about you cannot go outside i'm talking about you got a ringer on the door they know when you leave that bit this is for y'all okay so boom if you got cameras or whatever the case may be and you just got cameras all around the house this is my first tip and this is what i'm gonna tell y'all and you better listen do not sneak out at night you can't it's impossible they're gonna know you have cameras for one and then the door is ringing bitch is obvious period even if you don't like have a ringer on the door it's still gonna be obvious because if your parents check the cameras back to back to back that's your ass your ass is grass you're you're fucked now so just do not sneak out at night if you have a ringer on the door or you have cameras all around the house do not sneak out at night that is your worst choice to make do not make that choice okay i have something else for you to do now listen if you got cameras and you got a ringer on your door you're going to want to start sneaking out during the day now we're not going to say we're not going to consider this as sneaking out because you're not sneaking out you're sneaking away do you get what i'm saying you're sneaking away because what you're going to do is you're going to tell your parents that you're going for a fucking walk you are going for a fucking walk and you want some fresh fucking air do you hear me i want to get some air i want to get some sun you hear me so you're gonna tell your motherfucking parents that you was going your ass outside and they're gonna know that you're taking a motherfucking walk now you go for a walk and you go with your little boo simple as that simple and fucking easy because you're not sneaking out during night if you try to sneak out during night you're fucked now i do have a suggestion if you still want to be grown to sneak out at night even though you have cameras and a ringer or just cameras in general you're gonna want to have to go through that window you're going to want to already have your window almost open before you leave because if you do it while they sleep they're gonna hear you so if you do plan on sneaking out at night you're gonna have to already have the window slightly open before you sneak out you know what i'm saying do it while they're awake and if they ask you what that noise is just say you're making something you're doing something so then when they go to sleep your window already open slide through the window close that bitch build a little body on the bed you know how that bitch all prepped up or whatever and get the fuck asap okay now see one thing about me is i'm not gonna sneak out at night because i'm genuinely scared and my dad he takes cat naps so he doesn't sleep thoroughly throughout the night like he does not sleep throughout the night he wakes up you know what i'm saying he wakes up eats chips uses the restroom like he does not fully go to sleep eight hours he wakes up throughout his sleep so that's why i prefer sneaking away in the morning because if i go the fuck through the window or just leave he probably gonna know and if you know your parents are the type to know don't do it at night Another suggestion that I have for like sneaking away and sneaking out or trying to go to a party or go with your friend or whatever the case may be is you're going to want to have to leave your house, okay? Either you are going to a job, you're going to your friend's house where your parents trust them or you're going to your auntie house, your grandma house. You're going to want to leave the house. For example, you're going to your grandma's house and you leave from there, okay? You can, this is what I used to do. I used to go to my auntie house. And sneak out from my auntie house because they ain't got no ringers on the door they ain't got nothing you know what i'm saying i could sneak out and come back in and it ain't gonna be a problem now i did do this one time and got caught a little bit but it it always works you know what i'm saying you're gonna have to leave your house go to your grandma house maybe if she goes to the store she's out with her little old friends you can go with your friends while she's out during that time okay or you go to your friend house and your parents trust your friends or whatever go out with your friends go have fun go to a party you know what i'm saying you're going to want to leave okay or you can be like i'm going to work today call the uber put on your work clothes or whatever but whole time you're going to a fucking hotel 
You're going to a fucking Airbnb. I'm so up. I just put y'all on game. You got to know how to do this kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? When you're sneaking out and you want to you wanna go out without your parents knowing, you're going to have to maneuver. Okay? So, now that you at your little Airbnb or whatever, this is one thing that I did. I'm going to explain to y'all what I did, how I snuck away before. So, basically, I went to my cousin's house. And her dad does not give a fuck where we go. Her friend's father picked us up. We got our stuff and we went to an Airbnb. And the Airbnb was literally right around the corner. We stayed there for a day or two. And then her daddy came back and picked us up. So when you're gone and you have the type of parents that are going to call you, you're going to want to have to act like you're still at your cousin's house or your friend's house or your grandma's house. You're going to want to have to act like you're still there. Okay? You're going to have to, like, if you're at an Airbnb, you're at a party, you're going to need to go into a closed area where there's no noise and there's a nice background that looks like your people, your cousin place, so it don't look like you're somewhere that you're not supposed to be or whatever. Now, if your parents don't call you while you have, then you good, you straight. But my parents, they going to call and see where the hell I'm at, okay? And they're going to try to see that it's going to try to see. So, now, my tips on how to not get caught is basically don't get caught you know what i'm saying just don't get caught okay and if you the type to smoke or whatever and you like to smoke weed and you're not trying to get caught with that and you're not trying to get caught with that like period like say you just went and smoked and you're coming back and you don't want to seem high this is what i think you guys should do as if you're a woman you're gonna want to have some shades okay last time i snuck out i left my shades in the motherfucker car and never got them back so i bought me a new pair but one thing you gonna want to do is you gonna want to have you some shades okay you want some shades so your eyes don't look low and then you gonna want to have some lashes baby because you need that your eyes are gonna look bald and it's just not gonna give what was supposed to give another thing you gonna want to do is after you get out that hot box session look perfume don't cover the smell of weed when you sitting in a closed area you gonna want to have to air that shit out you gonna you gonna want to have to sit outside for a couple minutes or whatever because baby you gonna be smelling like marijuana so make sure you know you have perfume as well because you're gonna need a little bit of that you know you might need lots but sit outside for a little bit if you don't want to get caught if you don't want to get caught with weed in general put that shit in a jar put that shit in a ziploc bag and then put it in a jar spray some perfume because weed is really strong like you can get caught with weed immediately because of how strong the smell is so i recommend you just really jar it up you know what i'm saying put it away like if you're gonna keep weed in your room hide it have it in a nice hid, hidden spot because weed is strong the smell of it is strong you you you're not even rolling the blunt just you having the weed on you you can smell it and it's very very strong so if you're not ready to take that risk don't even have weed on you unless it's like a rolled blunt those are still a strong smell as well but i feel like when you have like weed on you it's like just bare weed and it's not rolled that's just way stronger smell than just a blunt with weed in it you know what i'm saying well that is my tips sneak away and don't get caught okay and you have to you have to act normal if you don't act normal it will not go the way it's supposed to go okay period and y'all be careful stay dangerous and don't get caught, okay? Because when you get caught, that's your ass, okay? But thank y'all so much for watching this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Get your girls to 2,000 subscribers if you're new. Hey, boo, be part of the Barbie on a party by subscribing, duh. But I love y'all, bye, Barbie